make sure I'm looking good on there. Nashville audits today, something different. Not doing a First Amendment audit. Today I'm here to protest Pastor Greg Locke. If you don't know anything about him, there'll be a couple of links in the description. Pastor Greg Locke believes that autism was caused by demons. Pastor Greg Locke hates LGBTQ people. LGB, uh, I mean, uh, Pastor Greg Locke thinks that witches are among us. And they're they're uh, part of their Satan, caused by Satan. Well, this man is nuts, so I brought my protest signs. I'm wearing my Muslim headgear, and I have my Allah bless the homeless. Now I want everyone to get this straight. I'm not promoting or uh, condemning any religion. This isn't about church, religion, Christianity, whatever. I'm not, I don't care. This is protesting an insane man, Greg Locke. Pause. Oh, never mind. I'll just turn it around. All right, here we go. I have with me, hopefully it's blown up. I have with me Miss Kindly. Miss Kindly is not an auditor. She's here in support. She is a self proclaimed witch. She is a Twitch streamer. I give tarot readings and play games on my Twitch channel. Part of the reason we are here is this man did a book burning. Not only did he burn the books that you would think of. He burned Harry Potter books, he burned tarot decks, he burned Ouija boards, Ouija boards. He, Twilight. he burned the Twilight series. It doesn't even contain witchcraft. The man is crazy, so in case things get crazy, we may do a book burning here. Um, we brought Bible verses to spout back at them if they start spouting at us, so she's going to handle that part. We're going to move on to the church and see what happens. All right, hold on. Let me get my crap together here. Oh, please, miss. All right. I don't know the name of this church. It's I'll give it to you later if I see it. I'm not don't much care. This is against the pastor, not the not, not the church itself or the prisoners. I'm gonna stand out here and watch people come and go and see what they think about us. I'm gonna sit down. This is their church. All right. Looks like security man up there in his little yellow suit. This guy has a pretty big internet following. The live he did during his book burning had 16,000 followers at it. Uh, there was maybe a couple hundred people there. There was somebody with more balls than me, I guess. I didn't know about it. Maybe I would have been there with him. Don't know who the man was. Went to the book burning. Ran up there with three books in his hand. I can't name one. One book was Fahrenheit 451. One book was the Holy Bible. He tosses the Holy Bible into the fire in front of 200 people. 16,000 watching. Says, I'm keeping my copy of Fahrenheit 451, which is a book about book burning. 
because I'm keeping this other book. I just threw the Bible in there. Hail Satan. It's what he said in this. I'll pin the uh, description. In the description will be pinned links to that, that video. This guy gets hassled all the way back out to his car. His friend is filming also. So if you, one of the videos I'll have on there will have a split screen between one of the parishioners of the church here and one of the, uh, uh, and, and the other one will be the camera of his buddy. They get in the car, his buddy, and right before they leave, everybody's telling him Jesus this, Jesus that. Him, it turns out the man is gay and he kisses his buddy right in front of him. It was epic. Oh, there we got a sheriff out front. Not happening, dude. Not happening. This is public property. I'm on the public easement. There's no sidewalk. I'm gonna walk up and down the side here. Yeah, they're in the road. It's public easement, boss. Is that your sign right there? Yes, sir. It is. That's on the public easement. Your your property starts where the concrete is. I've looked it up on the GIS. You seem awful angry. You all right, buddy? I'm angry with your preacher. I don't know. You guys don't got a problem with you or any of the parishioners here. I'm angry with your preacher. I think he's an insane asshole. Now, I don't know if he's your preacher, but the preacher at this church. Got no problem with none of, nobody here except the way, except what he says. Jesus taught love. Your preacher preaches hate. Yes, yes, sir. He's entitled to his. He's entitled to his. So, that's love thy neighbor as thyself. I'm 60 years old, man. I've never been hit by a car. I'm not too worried about it. Hallelujah. This is not my first protest or my first roadside encounter with a camera, so. No, no, ma'am. This is a peaceful protest. No rumbling here. Oh yeah, no, no. I follow the First Amendment. It says I can protest. I'm not here for violence. The most violent I will possibly get will be a book burning. Yes, ma'am. Your preacher does it, or this pre? I don't know if he's yours. This preacher does it. Mine won't be as epic as his. You should offer them a tarot reading. <laughs> I'll zoom in on the entrance a little bit here. Got a big cross in the front yard. Guess they light that up at night, I don't know. I'm not here protesting their religion, their Christianity, or anything else. I could care less. I'm here protesting their preacher. I should probably thank your cow for upholding his oath. Hey, deputy.
He's on his phone. I'll tell him in a minute. The car's flying up and down through here. It's probably his job, not mine to worry about. Right? They're flying. It's okay, let them hide. Yeah, I didn't realize this pastor was so close to me. It's only a 25 minute ride from my house. He's been in the news, his book burning was a year ago. It was a massive, massive bonfire. And he burned all kinds, he burned uh, a Disney princess being held in the arms of a, a, of a Disney villain. He burned a, book, a, a, a box that had a set of Disney glasses of Disney villains in it. I mean, this guy's crazy. Everything is demon possession to him. There's, I don't understand where he gets his logic, but he broadcasts out on the internet. I don't know what time the service starts. I don't care. I'm just here to protest and, and do my thing. Go here and make sure we catch cars before they turn in if they try to turn in. <laughs> She's offered a man a tarot reading. Get that, get that on camera, boss. I already got you. Good. I banned the man. Oh, we can walk almost to the to the concrete. GIS survey says you guys start right up all by almost the concrete. I did look it up before I got here. This ain't my first rodeo. Don't come on our property, okay? No, absolutely not. That's why I'm over here. Have a nice day. Just don't come on our property. You don't have to tell me something, man. Don't come on my property, man. Don't pee in the, in the snow. They can't. He has to give us a, a chance to leave. Y'all are giving that chance right now, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for upholding your oath. Telling the men we're on public property. Try to kick us off until us to go to the other side of the street. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, and some other news that you don't know about on here for viewers. This is in the city of Mount Juliet, Tennessee. They've had a lot of noise complaints. Well, you can't do a whole lot, I guess, because the church is First Amendment protected. But the, they own 18 acres out here. I guess they've been trying to build something, or I don't know what's going on with it, but they've been sued by the city of Mount Juliet. The Zoning Commission has sued them for something. I'm not sure exactly what. But the Zoning Commission has sued this church. I don't know the outcome of it. I don't know if they're still in court. But they don't want to follow the rules. They don't want to turn in permits or whatever. I don't know what it is, but they're not following the rules according to what I read.
He wants to slow down and look at us, I'll slow down and look at him. Like I said, this isn't about religion. This is about Pastor Greg Locke. They can pray to whoever they want, however they want. It's about the hatred this man spews. He's already had his uh, tax exempt status. Well, he says he's, his tax exempt uh, status was given up. I didn't look into that 100%. But he's been in trouble for supporting political candidates from the pulpit. And that's why the uh, tax exempt status was taken. Hi, how are you? Free tarot readings, check her out. They burn tarot decks, she brought one, is offering free readings. No solicitation here. Nice family here going in. The kid says hi, cute little boy. I got no issue with the parishioners. They don't start talking crap to me I got no issues with the prisoners I got issues with the pastor yeah he is a cute little dude Some more parishioners coming in down here. Big parking lot up here, they keep pulling in down here. Got a real pretty rock retaining wall up here. Yeah, it is. It is it's very nice looking. Nice landscaping, yeah. Yeah, landscape, well, not real bright green grass, but the, lands the landscaping looks nice. What little they have. See the man in there waving me off? There's your church, Global Vision Bible Church. I'm not here to protest the church. I'm here to protest the pastor. I don't have issues with the parishioners as of yet. That man came from Canada, cool. I'm sure a lot of people aren't uh, unhappy with us, but yeah. the people here may be. See, they're down there talking to her. They're down there talking to our ride. Of course. This man ain't too happy I'm looking in his vehicle. This is coming up on the lady that said good morning to us. All nice and happy out the window before I put on my Muslim headgear and pulled out my signs and my camera. See if she's still just as happy. I'm 
more parishioners coming in. Good morning, how are you? This is a bit, it's a tent church. The top of it is a tent. I don't think you can't see it. On I'm not on, ma'am. I've looked at GIS. It's almost to the concrete there, so. I know the property lines, man. I've looked them up. You can park right up against the white line right there on the on the public easement. It's got to be wide enough for a car to park next to the road. That's the, that's the state law. No, sir. It is. The easement is for county access. It's not for individuals. It's for anybody to walk. I know there's no damn sidewalk, lady. It's for anybody to walk. Uh, can I get you to park right next to the white line? Go down the road. I'll call you. We're done then. Park anywhere you want. Go to the store. and Air conditioning. It don't matter. Don't get in no trouble for us. <laughs> Uber driver there. Giving her lots of shit, huh? Give bad. I don't give nobody no shit until they start with me. That man ain't said a word to me. I ain't said a word to him. You know what I mean? I give what I get. But she's that the lady in the red and the orange said good morning. I come down here and said good morning. She said good morning back. I don't give them shit till they give me shit. Cherokee Nation, Oklahoma. Cool. Yeah, take a picture, sir. Take a picture. Look, here's the white line for the road. I'm not allowed on the road. I'm within a foot of it. There's no sidewalk, and he thinks I'm on his property. He, see, he thinks I'm on his property. The cop just came out and told you I'm on public property, dumbass. The cop just came out and told him I'm on public property. There's a way from fellow in that truck. Well, these people don't like us. She thinks maybe that this concrete uh, driveway thing here belongs to them. They may have put it in because they needed access, but there's no sidewalk. You gonna take my picture, man? I'm on the concrete again. I am. Well, there's the thing, and there's my feet. I'm less than two feet from it. There's no sidewalk. Y'all didn't put any sidewalks, did you?
No, I got no problem with you. It's the lady that yelled at me the first. I got no issues with anybody here until they talk bad to me, except for your pastor, or the pastor of this church. I got no issue with the parishioners or anybody else. I have a problem. Respect goes two ways. Respect me, I'll respect you. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Like that lady down there in Orange. I walked down there and said, good morning, how are you? She said, hello, good morning. And she says, hello, good morning. Got no problem with anybody here until they get on me for something that I didn't do. I mean, tell me to stay off the property. I understand. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to come on your property. I mean. I am a little angry at the pastor, but not, not of anybody here. I get defensive, yes sir, all day long. Away from people in the car there. Non parishioners here. I'm not gonna get any waves from parishioners probably. There you go, the Witch of Free, free Tarot reading. Give you one if you want it. Wouldn't be here if the pastor wasn't viral on the internet doing stupid stuff. The pastor, I don't know if he's yours or not. When you make when you make national news for being stupid, you get protests. I mean, look at Donald Trump. Both sides protest. Dude, I don't know which one's right or wrong. I'm not saying. I'm just saying both sides protest because of stupid shit. And I believe what he says. Some, a lot of what he says is stupid. I, you're free to believe any way you want. And so is his parishioners. And I am carrying my sign that says, Jesus taught love, Greg Locke teaches hate. And on the uh, uh, below that, I have my Allah bless the homeless sign. And I am wearing my, you can see it, my Muslim headdress. I got no problem with you, man. That person was smiling. <laughs> <laughs>
see a whole row of porta potties there. Ain't had any sort of interior bathroom for these people. It's a fairly new building, I guess. The tent roof, they don't even have a, a real building yet. But I guess they're working on it. I don't know. They seem to have a fairly decent following. I mean, it's not a mega church or anything. We've got mega churches in Nashville. This is not a mega church, but he's got a fair following. I don't know. I've seen things with a couple hundred, 300 maybe. I don't know how big the tent is. Maybe more than that. I don't know. Greg Locke called out, said he had the names of six witches given to him by demons. Well, the backstory to all that is there was a husband and wife couple that were from another, that were in their church or were hired by them, and he ended up firing them, and they didn't like it, and that's why they were witches in his name. It's just crazy stories. Uh, I don't know where the witches started with him, but we got no problem being witches. Bless you too, sir. Nice man there. Come in and join the service. Uh, no, thank you. I don't agree with what the preacher says. What does he say? That's between me and him, and you and him. See, I got no problem with the people, dude. Just the preacher. He offered me to join. I'm pretty sure you could hear it. Not sure. He said, come in and join us. Don't agree at all with a lot of the stuff the preacher says. He spreads his own hate. I don't know. I've no, been I don't know. Who, for a year pointing out the preachers that I don't know if he's your preacher or not. The man that preaches here is a oh, protest. I haven't ever been to the church. I haven't either. I've seen sermons online, seen stories online. I've heard a lot about it online, and there's a lot he needs to know about what's going on right now. So that's kind of why we're here. As those uh, we saw stories about him hating witches, calling people out, saying demons told him. I've got a Bible to burn today if it comes down to it. Well, I mean, I don't know that. That's sir. That's the right type of. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll do that. The Bible is a bunch of lies. I agree. The Bible is a bunch of it, It's not a truth. Well, they just, Parts of it may be, but it's not God's word. Well, yeah. I've never heard it speak. He doesn't include LGBTQIA. He doesn't include wishes. He doesn't include across the nation this year. Oh, he's straight up against LGBTQ people. That doesn't surprise me, but that's not something to preach about. Jesus yeah. taught love. Well, no, but he so, teaches hate. He preaches hate. You know, that's, that's meant for behind closed doors anyway. LGBTQ. If you can walk around holding hands with your wife, why can't some, I can walk around holding hands with my husband? I don't know why you can't. What's, he, what's says, he says it's supposed to be behind closed doors, just well, like you did. That's opinions, too, though. No, that's not opinions. That's he's, equality. He's got a bigger platform to speak his opinion, apparently. 
what and he does, but mine may go just as viral yeah, once well, it gets out. What we're uh, talking about, this is something that we need him for understanding, is uh, have you ever seen, have you watched the moon? Have you watched the moon since, you know, you was a kid and you see it raised like this and set like that, right? right. Well, nowadays, the moon will rise like this, turn 180 degrees and set. It'll rise wax and set wane. Right. This happens every single night. That is in the Bible. That's the Isaiah 24, 23. So what the days that we're in, every They also said in the Bible that... Uh, Noah held every two of every animal in his ark. He could, that bark wasn't big enough to hold the food for the elephants, well, much less two of everything. There's, yeah, that's impossible. But you've got to so you got to, you got to know parts of the Bible are not all true. You can't oh, just exactly read right, it and say that. That's, that's true. Salt. You have to take everything with a grain of salt. Everything, right. And this, every religion is saying the same thing. Basically, every religion is saying, so pain, be kind to others. Paying that's, attention to the big picture would be the important message that he needs to be bringing. And he's not. Going after the details is what makes it so tough for people. Once you go after the details like the LGBTQ stuff, well, I mean, that's behind closed doors anyway, right? I don't necessarily well, think that matters. One of the things but, he quotes is is saying that in, in Revelations it says something about man shouldn't be with man. Well, if you go back to the Greek it was written in and translated, it says man shouldn't be with young boy. Well, it'd be Hebrew, but it was but, translated to English and he uses it how he wants it now. Well, the... All so if you go to the, I've looked at a lot of Greek translation. All religions, the, the word, those words come from Bible canon, which is like Mesopotamian Sumerian writings. And what we have going on right now, we live in a trinary solar system. And that was the warning that they were giving us through all these different religions. The people who have re rewritten the Bible so many times has screwed that up because on purpose they're lying to us about things, right? Agreed. And now we're fighting about these little details that is not the big picture. The big picture is we've got another sun coming into our solar system. It has already broken in and it has turned our earth on our side. That's why we see the moon doing cartwheels. Everything is physics in the Bible, but they've made it sound a lot different. You know, through the, the writings that they, the kings and the emperors, they all came through and made it change. Right. Well, what's really going on is what the Mesopotamians and Sumerians has talked about and all the religions support it. You know, now they've definitely gotten into details and screwed up a lot of things and, and made people hate each other like this. Right. They made people hate. And that's not what the religions are supposed to be doing, but that's what they were that's, What's that say? For. That's what, if they follow Jesus according to their well, gospel, Jesus the biggest, taught love. The biggest message that Jesus taught is the meek shall inherit the earth. Meek is a frequency of the heart. <laughs> Bringing your heart down to meek would be taking it away from the anger, away from the hate. So the meek shall inherit the earth. We have a magnet in our chest. When you can calm your magnet, the earth is a magnet as well. That's where you get the Schumann resonance and everything. So, hey brother, I've I'm, got a quick question for you. Yes, sir. Are you here with the protest or are you here to go to church? Uh, well, I was here hoping to explain something to the protesters as well as We're the just asking Indian. that the church folks don't draw any attention to this. Okay. And just keep moving on. So, if you don't mind, that completely. just heading up to the tent. All right. But get rid of the He's free to talk to who he wants, man. Yeah. You can ask him anything. Tell him to get rid of the hate is all I'm trying to We don't have hate. He preaches well, hate. Well, I, I disagree is what I said. Put them together. I, no, uh, he and preaches hate. If you're upset about something, I wouldn't be upset. Gather, go somewhere else. I get it. First Amendment says we, have, we, we can gather on public property. Correct? First Amendment says I can gather on public property? We're peaceful, man. I got no issues with this man. He's been real nice to me. I thought I'd go ahead yeah, and Can I get your name and, and deputy number? 720. Okay, so, thank you. I called the patrol supervisor. Right. Just so I wanted to, to be 100% sure. Right. So this, is, this 25 foot from the center line is county easement. Yes, sir. That's so the county can do drainage work. It's also work, so I have a place to walk. I mean, I'm not going to walk on the 25 edge. You've seen that. But it's not for public. Access. Right, but you've seen I'm not doing that. I'm walking so, where I have to walk. I'm just... Right. I'm just trying to keep everything in right. perspective. That's why we're walking so, where we have to walk to stay out of the road. So, so. anyway. And I'll, thank you for I'll upholding your health. Yeah, calling and checking this great. From bothering you. No, I don't care if they bother me. I, well, I, I do because... I'm not I'm here I'm not to, here for violence. I, if they no, want to have I, a co uh, conversation, I'm more than happy to have a conversation. 
you know, I just like that fellow there. He just came down and started I, talking. And I, I get it, but you know, he's never been here. He's not a parishioner, right. so sometimes things just get out of hand really quick. So, yeah, yes, sir. You know, and I think that's why you're here. Right. You're on yeah, site because right. the controversy has been going on with this man. <laughs> See, I'm not the first one to have to worry about something happening on these grounds. You wouldn't be here if that wasn't if, an issue. If, if I can keep things. <laughs> From getting out of hand, I'm not here to start no problems. I got zero issues with the parishioners, just so, the man preaching. I get it. So, so and I as you've seen, yeah, I, as you've seen, the man jumped out of the truck. I don't know if you saw it. He said, "God bless you." I said, "Bless you too, sir." Now, real nice to that lady. She's real I, nice to I me. Down here when, okay. So I'm just coming down, make sure. Only time I had a problem was the man told me to go across the street, and then the other lady told me I couldn't stand like in in this driveway, and there's nowhere to stand besides the driveway. I don't have a problem with anybody here except the, the pastor, preacher, whatever he calls himself. I like pointing out the hypocrisy, too. I mean, he, if he'd come out here, I'd let her cast a spell on him. But I don't think he's got the cojones to step out and say hello. Right here's an invitation, Mr. Safety Team, to your pastor to come out and say hello to the witch. Greg Lock ain't got the guts to show up. Say hi. I tried. <laughs> Popped it off. Sorry guys, there's a sign here post here and I popped the top off the sign post. And there's a man over here, safety guys video on I me. Mean, these signs on public property. Man, got to stand the sign up before I can get my camera right. Sorry, guys. All right. Look at me. Okay, sir, thank you. Would you hold, please? Goddess bless. Happy Father's Day. Have a great day. God is blessed. <laughs> Me, why? You did it. Why is it out here just hanging here? Back into it.
Come on to the other corner, see if I can get any likes. Sorry about the camera screw up all ago, guys. There's a sign post in the ground. A little cheap plastic one. I leaned on it and it broke over. It was on public property. Alright, I'm walking out to the main road here. This is uh, the side road's called Chandler. This is the main road called Old Eleven and Dirt Road. It's a little windy out here, sorry. Let's see if I can get any likes from people not going to the church today. There's a thumbs up from that nice lady there. Thumbs up me. See, all this land here belongs to the church. They got a bunch of it. Sorry if the wind's loud. I don't have a day cat, I'm sorry, I'm cheap. Well, I got the cell phone. Really? Yes, sir, really. God bless you, God bless you too, sir. See, look, Heather, they even got a stake marked property corner. So anything from here down, like I said, that's cement. I mean, I don't want to bother them. I got to walk where I got to walk, but they've actually got it marked for us before we even got here. Got more parishioners coming. Away from that fella. Don't walk up there and try to catch some shade. If we can't, we'll call her when we get to the other end. We'll get on out. Fuck, it's getting humid out here for sure. Always so fucking humid out here. Are we safe enough for you, Mr. Safety Man? We're not armed in any way. A lot of land back there. Some work trailers look like they're trying to develop it. I guess with the city suit ongoing, I don't know what's happening. Man, Florida, Michigan.
away from that fella. A honk from that fella. It's a neat looking little building they got. It's tiny, whatever it is. Like a little sideways A-frame thing. Taking guess and turning in. Go turn around, we'll jump in. Hey, we're not here to bother nobody, man. Just to walk around. Oh, I gotta walk up here and get my bowl. Ah. Yeah, I get your bowl. A lot of out of town, there's another Virginia. Saw the Native American tag was from Oklahoma. That one says Kentucky. All right, Nashville, us, we're gonna call this one. Check you on the next one. Peace out. Come back to me or my county where I even live, dude. Uh -oh. No problem, it's public information. Have a good day, man. Hey, you jumped out, took a picture of your plate. I don't care. No, I don't either. All right, let's get out of here before the cop says we're blocking traffic or something. Oh, God. The sheriff right here. Yeah. He honored his oath. He came out and told the people that we were.